Shazam! What's up you guys, it's Zach from Render Effects and this is how to do the Shazam superhero transformation effect in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. The filming of this effect is simple. Film yourself walking in two different outfits. First, walk in your regular outfit, yell Shazam, and then perform an action to cue the superhero transformation. Next, change your outfit and walk down the same path performing the action in the same spot as you did before. Now that you have your two shots, let's hop into Final Cut Pro. Let's drag our two shots onto the timeline. First, the shot of you walking in your regular outfit, yelling Shazam, and then the shot of you in your new outfit, performing the same action. Let's start by cutting right at the point where you're in the middle of the action. We can use the shortcut command option right bracket to trim it at that point. Then let's scrub on over and find that exact spot. We can actually grab the left side trim and there's a side by side view so we can match our actions right there. Let's see how that plays out. Perfect. Now, as you can see, I actually wasn't filming perfectly. I move a little bit to the right, which honestly isn't a huge deal. We'll see the end effect does turn out just fine, but ideally you are walking in the exact same path. Now that we have our video clips lined up in the timeline, let's head on over to Footage Crate, which we have first link in the description and download our free video composites. Once you've created your free account, Search Spellbeam in the search bar. Next, uncheck the Preview Pro Content option to only show the free options. Then scroll down until you find Magic Spell 3. This will serve as the lightning striking you in your effect. Next, let's head back over to Final Cut Pro where we'll add a marker on the third to last frame of the shot where you're in your regular clothes. Then drag in your newly downloaded composite. So I and then O just as it strikes. So just the first 10 to 15 or so frames. As you can see, this is a 13 frames. Let's add a marker on the frame where as you can see, it lights up right here, which is on the 10th frame of the effect. Let's add a marker and we'll just zoom in and line up these two markers. If you're having difficulty lining up these markers, make sure you have your snapping turned on. You can enable, disable that either by clicking right here or you can simply use the shortcut N on the keyboard and as you can see that it turns it on and off. Now with that lined up, Let's reposition that composite so that it strikes from the sky. So we'll just simply rotate it just like this, about negative 90 degrees as you can see. Let's move it up and let's line that up just above our head. Next, let's change the blend mode from normal to screen. As you can see, if we play that, boom, it does strike. Let's actually extend this a few more frames. Next. Let's add an adjustment layer. If you don't yet have an adjustment layer downloaded, I have one linked in the description for you guys for Motion VFX. Don't worry, it's free and it's a super simple and easy download process. So again, that's linked down in the description, M adjustment layer. Here's the adjustment layer for Motion VFX. Let's drag this down, starting in line with the marker. And using the shortcut command, Control D, let's change the duration of this to six frames. Next, head on over to the color inspector and add a color wheels correction. Then increase the global luminosity until it is pure white. Add a keyframe right up here and then change the mix to 0.3. Then move forward one frame and then change the mix back to one. Here at Render Effects, we offer freelance video editing services. So if you or your company are in need of some video editing, whether it's VFX, social media, or corporate videos, we would love to work with you. You can DM us on Instagram, or you can email us at this email address right here. Head back on over to Footage Crate and search up Dust. Then select Live Action Dust and Dirt, and again, deselect the Preview Pro Content option. Then download Aerial Dust Burst 1. Import the composite into Final Cut Pro 
and using I and O, select the in point at the middle of the composite and the out point at the very end of the clip. Now let's drag that into the timeline, starting right as the adjustment layer ends. Because the composite is not very visible, let's turn up the highlights so it's a little more visible yet still subtle. Next, using transform, let's reposition this composite, rotating it so it matches position of your subject. Now, as you can see, if we play back this effect, it looks something like this. It's looking good so far, but let's take it up a level by adding some camera shake and some handheld effect to make it look more raw and authentic. So again, let's add an adjustment layer, again, starting at the marker, and then using the shortcut Control D, let's change the duration to 20 frames, and then head on over to the effects and add the earthquake effect to this adjustment layer. Next, let's add the handheld effect. Again, add an adjustment layer, this time starting at the beginning of your shot, spanning throughout the whole entire effect, we can delete the excess by using the shortcut command option right bracket. Now let's search up handheld in the effects. Let's add that to the adjustment layer. And you can play around with the shakiness and distance until you are satisfied. And now your effect is complete and you can enjoy your newfound superpowers. Shazam! If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out our tutorial on the flash super speed effect in Final Cut Pro. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.